Get me out of here! Thank you. It was very unpleasant in there. You have killed them all. Bastards, they deserve to die. Get me to a safe place, then we will talk. Whatever gods you worship obviously aren't listening. <laughs> Rouse yourselves! Trouble here! I could roar out and savor your death, but I have better things to do. And Harriet, like Yahoo? I was going to kill all of them. That damn cage was too hard to get out of his all. Oh. Apollodorus sent me to help you. Give me the scroll. Scroll? I do not have any scroll. Your job was to carry it. I hid it on our ship. I did not want it to fall into the wrong hands. Where is the ship? At the bottom of the lake. They sank it. Ah, very well. I will get it. Apollodorus is waiting for you at the lighthouse. I will tell him to find you near the sunken ship. Morias para esquivas matatuta en Precious scroll. Neck. Here's your precious papyrus. Well done, Bayek. I see you are a capable man. Someone I may be able to trust. The scroll was meant for the Roman general, Pompey, in an effort to sway Rome to Cleopatra's side. She will be grateful to you for keeping the communication secret. She is at my estate. We're headed there now. How does Aya fit into all this? Her cousin Phanos informed me that she was a driven woman stalking deadly prey. It so happened that I also had reason to bring down this prey. When Aya was successful, I stepped in to protect her. We are grateful. And we are grateful that you have eliminated Eudorus. He was an odious individual. I should tell you that in addition to Eudorus, I put an end to the Philaketai of Alexandria. 
Gennadios. Gennadios? I am very glad he is dead. But it will cause serious problems for you. The Falakis are a tightly bound group. And murderers. They will certainly come after you. So be it. Can I ask why you wanted Eudorus dead? As you know, Cleopatra's brother, Ptolemy, is too young and pliable to be a strong leader. We believe Eudorus was the force behind Ptolemy, responsible for so many of Egypt's current ills. Here we are. The villa is up ahead. more at the villa. Theitis Dokin, Posidon. The queen enjoys the life of high society. I'm pleased that Aya is bringing some sober substance to Cleopatra's social circle. She is an extraordinary woman, your wife. I know. Bayek. Before I can disclose all secrets, Cleopatra must meet and approve of you. She can be particular. Let me give you some advice. When you approach the queen, bend your knee in deference. Speak only in reply. Yours is not to question, but to answer. Do not be distracted by the festivities. She has a large entourage, and they like to amuse themselves. Sometimes to excess. Speak clearly, in measured tones, and above all, do not meet her gaze. Hey, this is Poseidon! Ready? I cannot wait. <laughs> Catch me! Catch me! Come here, both of you! Yes. She I'm caught me with her husband. The sensation is most delightful. This way. Oh, don't worry. She doesn't huh? hold the grudge. Mm -hmm. Where is my opium pipe? I will sleep with anyone as long as they agree to be executed in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> like Xantivis. He was well satisfied with his bargain. Who is this toothsome fellow? In Mehoto ek Nebsheve. My queen, this is, uh... Well? It is a generous offer. But I've already pledged my life to this woman. Aya, you have chosen well. Come, we have much to discuss. Celebrate, my friends! You were meant to kneel. <laughs> ah, Pasheremta. Meet Aya and Bayek. They put an early end to Eudoros. Delightful. You are joining our efforts, then? We do not know what your efforts are. Eudorus was a member of the Order of Ancients. They are responsible for my exile. They tore me from my throne. And why should I care about them? Well, the snake has many heads. Those heads make up the Order. The snake is the man who killed my son. It is not so simple. What are they talking about? I don't know. They must know something. The Order of Ancients seeks to control all Egypt. Ptolemy is but their puppet.
We have informants in each region. But they have been unable to touch the Order. Across Egypt, mysterious forces work against us. For instance, here, in the Nile Delta, the endless sands swallow up whole villages, yet a malignant human force moves with them. That force is one of the Order of Ancients, called the Scarab. And over here, in most sacred Giza? A shadowy figure called the Hyena controls all that occurs. What is certain is that Giza is the land of death and loss. And then there's Memphis. All is cast in my land. Even the sacred Apis bull himself. The one called the Lizard has worked a sort of diabolical power. So the snake is the Order of Ancients? Yes. Eudorus was known as the Hippo. You are right, my love. He was not the last one. All of these are. When the Order wants something, as in Siwa, it does not hesitate to crush all in its path. For Siwa, now Fayum. It is the most oppressed region in all of Egypt. Where the crocodile wields cruel power, the denizens live in constant fear. That is the fate that awaits all Egypt if we fail to stop the Order. We need decisive action. It is time for assassinations. We still have not found the man who killed Remu. Our sunshed will weep with joy when we clear the map of those figures. You are my Magi now. Protector of the true Pharaoh of Egypt. So it shall be. Tonight, we drink. Celebrate. Make love. Tomorrow. Roya, where have you got to? Where is that damn girl? You, Neb, are young and your legs are strong. Perfect for my needs. A pigeon arrived not long ago. I sent Ruya to fetch it, but she is so unreliable. Probably batting her eyes at the Master of Arms. If I see her... Never mind her. I want my letter. Run up to the pigeon tower and fetch it. All news is important to us these days. All right, Stuart. I will see what I can do. are in a ruckus. What has upset them? 
An ill omen. How did that charcoal get spilled? Where's the body? The railing broke when someone went over it. Blood. Still fresh. I cannot leave you here. I will take you back to Peleus for the proper rites. Poor Ruia. If you had only known how to make such a leap. What did you get yourself into? Beasts with the faces of men prey on the weak and powerless. We cannot simply show our bellies to the jackals that plague our land. By the gods! Ruya! What happened? She was thrown to her death from the Pigeon Tower. Yoletta. Why was she killed? That is the badge worn by Dimnos, our master of arms. Why did she have it? I will find out soon enough. The poor... Poor girl. May you walk in the field of reeds. Dimnos, I'm looking for Ruya. Why would I know where that peasant is? Perhaps because she has your badge. Shit. Well, she was just an Egyptian dog. No matter. Why did you do it? Truth? I didn't mean to kill her. Only teach her a lesson for her insolence. She refused to read a letter for me. You must confess to Peleus. I suppose you want the same fate as Ruya. You stupid Egyptian. I'll teach you the same lesson she learned. Come! Try! Death for you! Ah! Hmm. The letter he mentioned. Dimnos? Yes. He killed Ruia out of base cruelty. And he died because he thought I was also less than a person. What a senseless tragedy. She was a smart girl with a good heart. Hanichero! <laughs>
Push your racket, auntie. You will just make the hippos excited. Or call the bandits back. Is... is that him? No, not Maketra. But where is Maketra? <laughs> what would we do without my cherished Maketra? <laughs> I cannot worry about that now. If things do not change, the crops will rot and we will starve. Neb, you look strong and carry yourself without fear. Can you help a poor farmer? Your friend was killed by a hippo. Yes. The beast rampage slaughtered many. Yesterday, we were attacked by bandits. In their wake, they disturbed these hippos and drove them into our fields. The gods seem content to peace on us. We cannot harvest the crops, nor can we put the dead to rest with the hippos in our fields. Let me help you collect the dead. Poor cousin. Is it him? No, not Maketra. him. I would help you, but I, I, I am no match for those beasts. Is it him? No, not Maketra. No, not him. I would help you, but I, I, I am no match for those beasts. Hmm. Thank you, Neb. Their souls will now rest in peace. Who is this Maketra, your aunt mourns? Our protector. Brave and strong like you, he would chase away fierce animals or the bandits who plague us. I guess there's no one left who can keep us safe. Such a curse upon all of Egypt, it seems. Where do these bandits roost? There is a canyon. I would take you there, but it is far too dangerous. Also, someone must deal with the dead. Of course. I will find it. The bandits are known as the Hungry Great Ones. May the gods protect you.
guards here are vigilant. Nothing. Not sure the coast is clear, though. Hang on. Let me get you out of there. Won't you please let me go? You are a good hurry. These bandits breed like rats. Poor son! I'll be back for you! Thank you. But why did you save me? Your aunt spoke of your desperate straits. I would free any unjust captive, but the plight of a protector is something I cannot ignore. You are a Medjai. We are of the same brotherhood. Yes, I must hurry home. The war chief, Fat Homer, took the hungry great ones on a raid. You move like a lion. Would you help me stop them? <laughs> 
Move! Move! Mm, something seems off here. now. Maketra, I think we are done. You fought like a lion yourself. I have learned much from you. You've made me a better protector. Egypt needs more people like you. The land needs more people like us. I will sing songs of our battle to my aunt to remember this day. Ha. I cannot believe it. The gods protected us. <coughs> Amazing. Meketra has been returned to us. Did you see him drive away the bandits? Meketra is alive! And he killed fat Homer! The gods love us!
Pardon, Neb. I cannot sell any chariots today. By Serapis, I cannot believe my eyes. That looks like a Medjay badge. Please forgive me. For a moment, I thought you were the sign of the Medjay. The lost protectors. I do. I am. What pains you, Nebet? My heart is broken. My truest friend, my husband, Erix, has been murdered. Tell me what happened. He was renowned for his work. A soldier ordered him to build war chariots for the Pharaoh. He was happy to do so. But when the soldier returned to collect, he only offered to pay half the agreed price. Erix refused, and the soldier cut him down and stole the chariot. If you are truly a Medjai, will you help me get justice? Find the soldier and destroy the war chariot so he may not insult my husband's memory. I can do that for you. Shame the captain killed the chariot maker. His work was masterful. Don't cry for these mouthy peasants. No, I was just saying. You'll think his widow is still running their shop. Why? Do you fancy her? You're into short, older women? She's a handsome woman. Yes. Well, good luck convincing her to let you into her bed. While we ride around in the chariot her dead husband. We win. When oh. does the next patrol head out? Soon, I think. What made you go out? Hang on!
Nothing gets through. Oh, Covered by his uh, And to die. Uh, Alarm! Stop trouble here! Too close for comfort. Nothing gets through. See you maintain the peace. Get out of my way. Hell no. I'm sure I saw something. Start in range. Hey, can't hear you. Hold still. Whoa. I'll pin him. Got him lined up. Oh. Yeah. Wait a second. It's done. A sacrifice made to honor the builder who was cut down. Another imbecile.
clouds the air. Tana lives nearby. Oh, the gods shame me, Neb. The Tanner is my husband. He carries that stench home whenever he returns from camp. Is he here now? By the smell? You would think so. But it's worse when he's around. Do not let it trouble you. We all must do work we do not relish. You are right. My husband works hard. ...but cannot keep up with the demand for his services. The Medjai are said to be legendary hunters. If you would like to earn some good coin, go and see him. I'm sure he could use your help. Hmm. I will consider it. Where would I find him? His hunting camp... ...is north and west of Sao. He will be tanning hides for a few days. If only there was some way for him to deal with the stink. Did you ever see work as fine as Oniris's? I wish I could afford one of his weapons. Did you ever see the Serpent of Serapis? A spear light as a feather, and sharper than Sobek's tooth. With such a spear, I could be a champion in the amphitheater. Shame about what happened to it. Some awesome soup. That is quite the story. Ah, the Serpent of Serapis. You have heard the tragic tale? Not the whole of it. Oh, it was a true masterpiece. The shaft wrapped with water-hardened leather. The blade hammered out of the metal of heaven. I would love to see it. Impossible. I crafted it for one of Apollodorus' captains when I lived in Saïs. But Sefeto's soldiers killed him. That is the reason I left. Sefetu? Yes, Sefetu the Firebrand, who governs Saïs with flame and fear. One of his bootlickers stole the spear that bears my mark. Outrageous. Can you not get it back? The man is beyond my reach. He sails on one of Sefetu's triremes on Mariatus Lake. Ah, I hate a bully. My travels take me far and wide. If I come across him, I will look for your spear. I would love nothing more than to hear of his fall. If you manage it, the Serpent of Serapis is yours. Where did you come from? Back! Back, you beast! I will turn you into leather armor! No! Keep your jaws away! Back, beast! My thanks, traveler. I did not expect the gods to send help my way this day. I was afraid that beast wanted to eat me in revenge for my craft. What brings you this way? Your wife in Sao told me you might need a hunter. Yes, yes. 
Too much demand and not enough supply. I would be more than happy to pay you good coin for the hides I need, and for you to risk their teeth. I am listening. I need hyena ears, crocodile eggs, and vulture skulls. What do you do with vulture skulls? Many priestesses of Iset used them for headdresses. They pay well. Well now, what do you have for me? Hmm. I do not yet have everything you asked for. No matter. I have enough work to keep me busy until you return with what I need. My life is accursed! Nebet, what grief has swallowed you? We... we came to pay our respects to Icarus. To make an offering for him to ride victoriously in the next life. But... but... Shh. Gently now. I'm listening. Blue ruffians came at us. They jeered at our sorrow. And when my Halius spat in their faces, they struck him down. They killed him. Then stole a bust of Icarus and ran. Now... My younger son, Icarius, has gone off towards the shore, chasing after those blue demons. I fear he'll join his brother. We came to mourn our hero, and now my family is destroyed. Please, my child, save my last son. Don't let his life end today. Go back to your home. Try to rest. I will find him and bring him back to you. Ηλικιώτης ανθρώπων. Πού και εκεί πέρα. This is heavily guarded. Hey, what the... You died. <laughs> da! A sure example. Get over here! <laughs> Much Girl. better you than uh, me. You're a corpse! Uh, <laughs> ah! to get you back to your mother. Time to go home. Wait, Medzai. These sagging cocks stole a bust of Icarus that my mother had prepared for the great Sariotir's memorial. They threw it in the river to defile it and bring a curse upon the Prasina green racers. We need it. Let me get you to your mother first. No. You must retrieve it before it is lost for good, or else my mother will never recover from her despair. I can make it home, but I am too weak to find the bust. Please, find the bust of my namesake and bring it back to my mother. As I must.
Even in death, you ignite their passions, Icarus. Let's get you where you belong. The Magi has returned. In need of more finery? Yes, in a moment. I'm curious, Reda. Where are your parents? Long story, Seni. Ephilakitai of Alexandria caught them stealing and boiled them in a bronze bull. By Anubis. I am sorry, Reda. No need. The gods took my family, but gave me my camel, Amun, a great steed. I wander the desert and see the sun set when I want to. This is my freedom. I see. As always, you are wise beyond your years. Osiris hears not the mourning of the weary-hearted. You wanna sell or buy anything, Seni? The future is golden. Quiet. I'm here to get you back to your mother. Metai, you saved my son. A thousand thanks and more I owe you. The past of Icarus. Now Prasina has a chance in the upcoming games. You are truly a blessing sent from the gods. We will make an offering to Icarus and the Prasina Green in your name. There is no need for that. But if you must, make the offering for my son. I would have loved to have shown him the spectacle of the Hippodrome. We will. Come, mother. We have to prepare to deal with my brother's funeral. Yes, of course. At least he is glad that the bust of Icarus was restored. Hippodrome, the much loaded and short life beloved of Canopus. Gel. Zenifa, is it you? Bayak, you sour facey one. <laughs> I, I am Claridas now. What are you doing here? Icarus was a thousand times better than you! Oh! Oh. Who's going to lead you greens now, Malakia? You're a babe at the teat. You think you can win the Cursus Magnus? <laughs> Horse shit! Leave Nikias alone. Icarus' death was a dark day for all of us. Let him weep in peace. So, is Aya with you? Ah, hey, I'm alone. <laughs> I was just asking. <laughs> Ask my foot next time. <laughs> no matter. Join us at the tavern later. Hmm? <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Step on A. 
Mirat! Bart hit the Jutel! Clear the way! Watch out! coming through! Oi! This maze on us Oh! You know, if you really want one of those... I saw you ride last month when five... So I said, it's not your pig I'm talking about, it's your wife! <laughs> Oh, Bayak! How long has it been? A decade? <laughs> More? <laughs> you left Siwa a long time ago, huh? And you left your name behind, too. I had to. Cladidas is a name better suited for the Hippodrome. <laughs> Remember the horses we rode outside Siwa? Huh? Oh, those nags! <laughs> I thought you would never leave that shithole. Hmm. Siwa. Small, poor, and ugly. <laughs> the only beauty there was Aya. Has it changed much? Has she? Things change. People change. <laughs> ah! I need another drink! <laughs> Pardon, Neb. I overheard Clarida say you once rode together. My father sponsors the Prazina Greens, and we are in need of a mighty racer. I'm only here to drink and forget. Leave him alone, Nikias. <laughs> Real men are drinking here tonight. <laughs> Bayek, come. Let me show you something inspiring, huh? Come, move your ass! Where are you taking me, Senefa? Please, Claridas. I have not been Senefa in years. Ah, why did you change your name? To succeed in the Hippodrome, one must be welcomed by the Greek houses. So, a Greek name. Your band and your name? Your home? Siwa was nothing to me. The Greeks may look down on us, but screw them! I eat and drink well on what I win. I have no ambition to race at the Hippodrome. You? <laughs> no, never. They cheer for me. Besides, you would need a sponsor, a real chariot. Now, Icarus, he was a true hero. Did you know he won a thousand races and survived twice as many? See how they love Icarus? You have adopted their gods too. Hey! Move! What do you think you're doing? Our gods never did anything for me. You're lucky I left. If I had stayed, Aya would have been mine. 
Uh, you are drunk and an ass. You have no idea what I give up. Oh, the world is hard. You always looked down on me in Siwa. Thought you were better. I never. Doesn't matter. I have found fame. At what cost? You gave up your home, your name, your gods. You trust this path. And it has brought me all the coin and cunt I want. Now, you always wanted glory. It is not what drives all of us. And all you wanted was Aya and little Bayax. What made you abandon your dream? Enough. You were alive. <laughs> you are old. Time for me to dunk my head. Uh, the beer hits harder than you. What in Dionysus' name were you talking to Nikias about last night? Nikias? Who? Don't bullshit me. I saw you. What? You think his father will just welcome you onto the Prasina Green team? You really think you can roll onto the track and win races with no training? No skill? Piss on you. Maybe I should seek this Nikias out and hear his offer. If you can win, Claridas, it can't be that hard. You might want to pray first. You'll need all the help you can get to survive the Hippodrome. The gods will watch us race and decide. You have your gods, I have mine. We'll see who rides out covered in glory. Enough has been said. <laughs> Let the gods judge you in the Hippodrome. <laughs> You there! Stop! I did not expect to see you here. Quite the estate. Yes, we've been lucky. Father breeds horses, and his horses have often won in the games. I told him about meeting you. You told him what? Not much. That you are a rider. That you know Claridas well. Too well. By half. Come. He would love to meet you. Beautiful, isn't she? Bright eyes, flawless gait. Hey, she wants to win, eh? You know a thing or two about horses. Nikias, who is your friend? Father, this is Bayek. He wants race with Claridas. My father, Philocrates of Canopus. Son of Themistocles of Canopus. Grew up with Claridas? Let's see you drive, Barak. Nikias, keep close. Maybe you'll learn something. It's Bayek. Ah, fine. Does Siwa have a great course for racing? No. We are a small village. We did have chariots. The old kingdom and its pharaohs brought them. I envy that freedom. Enough. 
When was the last time you raised Claridas? A long while. I barely know the name. Careful! Tighter on the reins! Watch the statuary! Icarus was the true master of the races, something Claridas hoped to inspire to. My father loved Icarus. He was his favorite, his favorite rider. Let's show my father your natural skill. You have a light touch! You are a natural. With you riding for the green, I'm sure we can win in the Hippodrome. You are a natural. You have a light touch! Faster by a faster! Such speed! What's going on? Something's wrong. <laughs> Mother! Hurry, Bayek! Megias! Horse thieves! Here! The balls on them! She is my winning guest horse. You have to get her back. We won't let you down, father. <laughs> Hurry, men! We can't let these brazen raiders get away with this! The honor of Prasina Green depends on it! For Prasina Green! Hurry! Alala! Keep a sharp eye out. Father loves that horse more than... more than all the others we've raced. For Philocrates! For Saganaki! Whoa. Move out of the road! We must be getting close. For Icarus, for Grassina Green, for the Green! How many bandits do you think there are? Do not worry! We have the Medjai with us. We will be fine. Who are these bandits? Scum who are working for the Blues, I'm sure. Have you heard about the Great Hungry Ones? Who are they? Bandits down Whoa. south. I think they ride war hippos. What? Are you serious? So I've heard. Race, Whoa. as if you were Helios.
suspicions of violence and bloodshed. I should investigate. Old blood stains this table. I think the body was prepared here, but crudely. This is no fine, skilled work. This symbol... ...a dedication to Serket... ...the goddess of magic... ...the Scorpion. man was half eaten by crocodiles, but only after he died. Someone prepared him for burial and cut out some of his sacred organs. His stomach, at least, was removed. <clears throat> Curious, sinister writings. Serapis, God of Divine Majesty and Lord of the Sun, someone has placed a mark upon you. The Scorpion is the sign of Serket. This is deeply disturbing. Someone killed him and removed his sacred stomach in a mockery of proper burial. Or perhaps a clumsy imitation of it. area is off limits. of the old one collapsed a few years back. What in Seth's name is going on? Whoa! We did it! Now Philocrates will shed bitter tears in the Hippodrome. 
Sure, sure. Where's the payment from the Blues? We'll get it soon. You trust them to pay us? If they don't, we'll steal their horses too. By Serapis, you did it. I cannot believe it. I was convinced we'd never see Saranagi or my son again. I dealt with the bandits who stole her. I suspect they stole Saganaki on behalf of your blue rivals. Gods blast them. We'll have to beat the blues in the races to teach them shame and humiliation. I hope you raise wearing the green, I... Barrett. I will do my best.
Osiris.
Awesome, Pharaoh.